Hey everybody, welcome to this live stream here. I want to welcome you. Today uh, I want to talk about a couple things that I've been seeing when I go on different online forums that a lot of business owners of e-commerce websites are struggling with. And I would imagine a lot of SaaS companies, software as a service companies are struggling with as well. Um, and, and that is having traffic but not having enough conversions or a new seller having a lot of traffic and having no conversions and they're just baffled. I don't get it. We have the right persona. We have the right people. We're targeting the right audience. They're coming to the website, but they're not buying anything. So I'm going to show you a very simple way of doing this. By the way, my name is Floyd with Online Pitchman. If we take a look behind me here, this is an online forum of a business owner who's basically saying, who's basically saying, you know, I'm having traffic, but I'm, I'm basically not having any, any success. So this business owner behind me is basically saying, I'm, I ha I'm having traffic, but I'm basically not having any success. And uh, let me just pull that up real quick here. So let me just read this. Hi, I run a dog store where I sell different products for dogs and merch for people. The store is niche to beagles, um, but most of the products work for other dogs as well. What would be the advice that you would give this seller who's not getting any online traffic? Or I'm sorry, not getting any conversions, but getting traffic. What would you say? Start an email marketing campaign? Well, that's just going to bring more people to the site. Run Facebook ads? That's going to bring more people to the site. Normally, the answers that most people give store owners is to just get more traffic, have good web cap, uh, copy, and then hopefully, you know, people will get more sales. I say... Do what the leaders in this space are doing. That's what I would say. In fact, there's a very interesting quote by Picasso. He says, good artists copy, great artists steal. And what that means is in whatever game you're in or whatever you're trying to do, go with the leaders in that space. And the leader in this case would be Amazon. What would Amazon tell this seller? Well, I know exactly what they would tell them. They would say, start streaming on your website, because this is what Amazon has started doing. They started having live streams. And what they do is they put the products of what they're streaming about right under the live stream, as you can see here. Okay. So this is a streamer that's talking about different skincare type of things. And the reason why they do this is because it works. Think of a brick and mortar store, how strange it would be if you went into a store and there was nobody there to answer your questions. It would be really strange, right? Well, imagine if most e-commerce stores would start streaming eight hours a day and really speaking to their demographic. And Amazon, they started doing this because they've been watching these guys for, for many years, QVC. QVC has been selling live on television for many years, and they're raking in the money because they understand something that most salespeople don't, and that is people buy for emotional reasons, and they justify it with logic. And when you look at the different type of sales presenters on QVC, you'll see that they're having like neighborly conversations. They're warm. They're, they're really talking about how it makes them feel the different product, how it enhances their life. So this is what almost e every single e-commerce website should be doing. Now let's go back to the lady with the store that has the beagles, okay? Let's go back there for a second. So as we can see, we click on this website, and what we have here is a very niche store 
a website for Beagle owners. And it's so easy to really speak to the people that come to this website because you know what they're interested in. So what this owner can do is they can put a live stream right here. They can do it themselves or they can hire a company like ours that does streaming for them. But either way, it's a great way to engage their customers. Let's just take, take for instance, if I wanted to buy a bowl for my neighbor's dog, for instance. I don't know a lot about dogs, right? But let's just say I decided I wanted to do that. There's not much description here. It doesn't tell me what makes this better than just a silver bowl, like you usually see dogs eating out of, or a red one. But this one is silicon. Hey, what's the benefits of silicon? Even if they wrote a bigger description here, even if they made a very detailed description, they couldn't answer every single question that I would come up with. But going back to the home page, if they had a person streaming on the home site, really talking about the different products and just screen sharing, literally screen sharing and just taking people through the different products and just kind of talking about them and just kind of engaging people and not just talking about the product from a sales standpoint, talking about how it makes them feel, talking about stories in their life with their family, friends, things that they've seen. Now, one question that you might have is, well, you can only talk about the product for so long. How do you make it more engaging? Well, one of the things that you can do, I don't know if you can see this here, uh, but this is my website. You'll see on the very top, it literally says live stream. And next to the live stream, if you go to the, the live streaming portion of the website, on the right of it, it'll have a chat box so that the customers can actually chat and they can actually take part in the conversation. So you can interact with the customers and you would have a list of things that you can talk about. Think about television, for instance. If television only had commercials about cars or a certain type of food or candy, then people will get bored. But what do they do? They have entertainment to bring people back. So what you would do is you have a folder full of things that you know that particular demographic is interested in. And you would literally go through those different things. You don't have to just talk about the product the whole time. In fact, that's the worst thing you would want to do. For instance, if I had that Beagle website, I would go on the live stream and I would go to a, a forum for Beagle lovers like this one, rbeagleworld.com. And I would just look for a topic and I would do this live. And remember, these are people that love these type of dogs. And I would just look at something. Okay, here, Beagle won't walk. Say, so, hey guys, I mean, have you ever had this problem? You know, you would ask and speak to your audience. Have you had this problem of your Beagle not walking? Wow, listen to what this person said. Hi, everybody. First time posting here, but it's been a very helpful learning, blah, blah, blah. I'm looking for advice on walking my beagle. He's almost one years old, and walking him is awful. He constantly pulls, dashes all over the place, howls at other dogs, and he goes to doggy dog, doggy dog care a couple times a week. He has lots of interactions with other dogs. We've tried many different harnesses. So... We see where this is going. So I would talk to the audience and say, hey, has anybody ran into this before? Wow, I can just imagine how stressful that can be. I mean, you know, thank goodness that my dog is very well behaved. Do you guys have a dog that has any type of behavioral issues? And let them interact through the chat. You say, hey, put in the chat what you have to say here. So by streaming five, eight hours a day, this is going to help you to really build that emotional connection with your audience. And you're gonna turn your website into more than just a place where people can go and buy things. You're gonna turn it into a social media hub. And this can be done with any type of product, whether it's clothing, whether it's massage guns, whether it's water you're selling, shoes, hair care, whatever it is, by streaming and speaking to your audience live, you know, like I said, like right here on, on the top of this page, you can have a stream. You can embed a, a live stream here. And on the left of it, you can tell them the times of the streams. And while people are shopping, they might leave your, your stream. They might come back and look. You can screen share and you can really um, help those people in a better way, in a deeper way than just copywriting and description. So if you're struggling with this problem, 
not closing enough business, I would highly advise you to consider streaming on your website. And this is something that anybody can do that's of a benefit to any type of business. So give it a try. If you're a business that you're getting traffic and your time is worth more than the money, you might consider hiring someone like our company. This is what we do. We do streaming um, on other business owners' behalf. Otherwise, if you're a new company, you might want to stream by yourself. And uh, you'll find that you'll build your audience. It'll give you more content, sort of like a living blog. And I, I think it's a, a good thing for uh, many companies. It's working for Amazon. It's worked for QVC. Streaming has become